Okay, guys, uh, today we're going to put together the Roland Star Space Saving Bathroom Storage Rack. Or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to follow the instructions just because that's what you're going to do, right? Make it nice and easy. Uh, so we need to find the piece that they call one, or the uh, screw that they're calling one. Which I'm going to assume it's this, because that's what it looks like. Then you want I and H, which we have I and H right in front of us. So, bada bing bada boom. Alright. So we're going to take I, we're going to take bolt through the bottom, or the screw through the bottom, I guess. And then, I have to take stickers off. I don't think it matters which way they go. I mean, they're both sides are painted or uh, stained or whatever, whatever it is. You're gonna want a number three uh, Allen hex, whatever. And it's just one bolt through. I'm not going to over tighten that for now because I might need to have it spin just a little bit here in a minute. Not sure, I haven't read through the instructions yet. It's going to be the same thing with this side. Whereas we just do exactly the same thing. tighter than that. Oopsie. There we go. Step one done. Alright, next step is, wow, it doesn't even require anything at all. So you're taking B and D, which this is going to be D, it's got a nice little D sticker on it, and then B is back here. And it just says you attach them together. So I'm going to assume these are universal. It doesn't matter which way they go because there's no thing, nothing on the picture that says, okay, that's pegs on the bottom or uh, rubber is on the bottom. But nothing that says this has to go this way or has to go that way. Uh, ooh, actually, it is slightly different. And the picture really doesn't show picture shows a hole here and a hole, one hole, one hole, one hole, two holes. The picture shows one hole on D, which that's okay, one hole on D. So putting the one hole on D on this side here. And then on B it's showing one hole for both, but it's showing the Showing the one hole is longer. On the back side. Okay, it is longer on the yep, on the back side. Oh. The side over here. So one hole, no hole. One hole, one hole that's higher. So further back on the uh, on the metal rod. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Wasn't hard at all. And it's going to slide. So we'll slide it down on the chair for now. It doesn't want to sit there. There we go. Didn't know we were going to have to do this right now. Alright, so A and C. C is going to have two holes and two holes. So rubber thing to the bottom. Two holes and two holes on this side here. And A is going to have three holes and two holes. Three holes and two holes over here. So. 
Bada bing. Bada. Done with step two. Nice. All right. So we need J. J is the little shelf here. Okay. Uh, we need six number twos and six threes. So let's find our twos and threes here. That's twos and fives. Well, that's not very nice. Can't put two and three together. We need six of the two. Uh oh, there might, might be two different sizes for the hex nuts. I'm sorry. I did not realize that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this might be a different size hex. Yes, it is. So we need a three and a. Oh, it's a six. Um, I think this is my four. So three and a four. All right. And then we need number three. So this is number three. We need six of those. Now those, the threes are going to be the small guys. One, two, three, four, five. One more. Make six. Cut. Now we're going to just take D here. Ouch. And. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's do A and C first, so we can actually see the whole lineup on A and C. Um, so he's gonna have three holes and two holes. Right about where they connect at. Yeah, right about, right about where they connect at. So that's three holes and two holes. So we we'll put the three holes and the two holes towards you. Then you're gonna take this little J piece here. And the upper part of that is going to go on the three hole side. And the lower part's gonna go on the two hole side. And then here, your long one is going to go in the top. Yeah, in the top hole of the back side here. So the long ones are the only two that's going to hold the shelf. Okay. So the other long one's going to go in the bottom hole on the other side. Tighten those two down just because those are the only two holding the shelf. Nothing else is holding the shelf on this side. And you don't want to over tighten again if you're using power tools. You know, if the metal starts to bend, you stop. It's tight enough. You can always retighten it later, but if you get it too tight and it breaks, you can't retighten it after that. Alright, so then you take your small ones here. Huh, that's it, six and six. Oh, it's getting there. There's another piece we got to put on there. Alright, so you're going to fill your other hole with the small guys. Or are you just going to hold the uh, two pieces together. Don't get them tight until you get all three of them started. You gotta get all three of them going in pretty good before you tighten that down. preventing it from lining up. Okay. 
And the reason I didn't put the uh, adjusting torque nut my thing here is I didn't want it to go straight in. Because I want it to stop when it hits that metal. It's tight against it. I don't want it to go and then completely crush that metal. Okay, the other side's gonna be the same thing. So now we have a good idea of how it should be up. George going on shelf in it. Oops, yeah, okay. Come in. Where's my screw or my bolt? It's in my hand. On the end of the bit. So step three, done. Oh wait, no, no, not done. Now we need the part E, which is going to be this round rod. She's gonna go in the top. Looks like the very top hole. Uh, is that on camera up here? Probably not, no. It's the top hole, rod. Size, I mean, naturally, it's not, it's going to set whopper jaw if you don't. Maybe some of you guys like whopper jaw, but most people don't. So it's going to be one, two, three, four on each side of these. So the first one is going to be on the far side. All we want to do is get her started. We don't need to get her tight. No, and just enough in there to get her started. Simple. I mean, 
One hole in the front, three holes in the back. I think we got it started. We just need to adjust. Actually, let's go ahead and start the other side. That way we can be done with adjusting. take a little bit of moving back and forth a little bit just to get that hole lined up. But I'm having a little bit of trouble getting her in there. So we will try this back and I think we got the back started. Now, that should make the front easier. Oh, look at that. Find right up. Now, get this top piece moved over. And we can get the started on both sides. Of that. Now since we know we have to move this around a little bit, I'm not going to tighten these down. I'm just going to get them all started and then put the next shelf on. That way it doesn't squeeze in any tighter than it already is. So the next shelf is going to go to the next set of what, four holes on each side. Well, it's a good idea to have all the stuff in your hand facing the same direction. That way you can just spin your hand and go. It's just like that, guys. Alright, get this guy lined up here, maybe. There we go. And then get her started as well. Oops, I dropped one. Brown, can you do me a favor and give me that screw on the ground, please? It's right there in between. Thank you. Oops, I'm sorry. Thank you. All right, now the last one is G, which goes on top, and there's four bolts, so two on each side. It's not going to matter which way it goes because it's nice and pretty all the way around. And we're going to go to the top two holes here. The top, yeah, top two holes on each side. Get it through 
through there. Might be off camera on this one, guys. I'm sorry. The, the room's only so big, and I can only back up so far. But it's going to be the same process as the other two. Just get it all started. And then after she started, then you just... at the top thing because it does seem like that's a little too tight. Wrong bit. I should have I should have known that guys. There we go. That's loose enough. Could probably get her up there. See, I mean so much easier. Gosh, I wish I'd have done that the first time. Let's line up in the back. Let's try the front. Lined up almost perfectly in the front. Okay. The back needs to go just a little bit down, I think. A little bit down. Okay, we're gonna retighten that top piece here. And I think we're done. But most everything else, so we can tighten the rest of these down. We're gonna start from the top and we're gonna just put our over. guys that was easy all right next step is to do the uh, L piece that they're calling L which is the uh, kind of like halfway u-shaped item and then we need one more of the small guys and she goes On what looks like this side over here, the uh, picture makes it really hard to see. It looks like it goes right like this. Oop, maybe it's back to the number four. Tighten too much. 
Now you gotta put the uh, the seat on the bottom side of it. Which, I don't know, why didn't they say to put the feet on it when the bottom pieces weren't together? Uh, that way you didn't have to flip the whole thing upside down to put the feet on it. Wouldn't that make sense? Put the feet on it before you put it together. I'm not an engineer or whatever those things are that come up with all these pretty pictures. Maybe they know something I don't know, but I doubt it. <laughs> I'm a lot of times complaining about them with other projects, mainly at work. They tell you to do 10 things and then they tell you to, oh, okay, take this part so you can do this now. Why wouldn't I just do it before I put it on there? Just a thought. All right, feet are on. Set her back down. This must be a toilet paper holder. Yeah, let's see what the next step is. It's got to be something real simple. Okay, the next step is going to be to put these other metal bars on. Now, you're going to put these on, and then you're going to put the, the small bolts through it. Um, it... Okay, that's just going to be a, a cross shape. Now you might want to check the back of your toilet. If the back of your toilet uh, is connected to the wall at some point, then you're going to want to put these on after. Uh, after it's in place. Uh, oh, they're connected. That makes it sound easier. Uh, I didn't even check to see which hex it used. But there's only four holes in the back, so it's not like it's going to be hard at this point. Uh, you're running out of holes to fill. Someone found that funny. things guys if the hole doesn't line up you just pull it until it does I mean, you would think manufacturers would make sure that the holes lined up but ah, no. like this hole is a good a good eighth inch off from where it should be but that has nothing to do with how it was put together. That's a manufacturing thing. It's okay, that'll just make it that'll make it nice and tight whenever we finally get that boat in there and get her started. Which is how us guys like it. No chuckle on that. All right, your crisscross bottom support is now on. Now the next step is to uh, do the things that attach it to the wall, which will be your your what that you're calling six. Well, there you guys go. Got a nice little pretty bathroom storage saver shelf here. Uh, we'll put the link for this down below in the description. Make sure you check it out. Uh, 